Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Crumb and Pilot's YouTube channel. And today we're going to talk about service instruction 0601. It's a really nice alternate method of compliance for an AD that we have on our aircraft, 7922-04. So stay tuned while we talk about the service instruction and the AD. So we would like to ask you please subscribe, hit the like button, and hit the notify to stay current with our content. So let's go back in history to 1979 and let's talk about the AD 792204. It started this whole process and it's basically the aileron oscillation um, AD and it's to prevent possible aileron oscillation and now we know what causes the oscillations and that's where service instruction 6101 comes in but anyway let's take a look at um, I'm sorry I'm, I meant to say 0601 but anyway let's take a look at the AD and it says that we have to inspect the ailerons which we would normally do for loose fittings or anything like that but then we're offered two options we can we can go ahead and we can decide that we're going to re-inspect this every 100 hours in service which means we're going to do all of the inspection again and we're going to check for the wear or within 25 hours of time in service we can go ahead and apply service kit 150 which basically chops off the ailerons and we're going to talk about that so you had the option of you could recur this or you could just chop the ailerons off and here's what an actual chopped aileron looks like and you really don't want to do this to your airplane. One, it destroys the handling capabilities of our Grumman's. Our airplanes fly fingertip easy. They're very light on the controls. You cut the aileron off like that to comply with the AD, and now your airplane is going to handle like a pickup truck. It's not going to be the sports car you're used to anymore. So it's really not a recommended way to handle the AD and that's why we were so happy when service instruction 6101 came out and it came out right here with the profile that you could check your ailerons and if you met the profile it canceled the recurring part now you still have to check for the wear every 500 hours on the torque tube but it reduced a lot of the overhead and maintenance and wear and tear on your aircraft so that's what the service instruction 6101 does so you don't have to clip off your ailerons so now let's go take a look at 6101 so here's the full text of service kit 150 and again it's not something you want to do to your aircraft and if your airplane has been modified with this AD um, then what you're going to do is you're going to buy two new ailerons so you get your Grumman back and that's going to be about three thousand dollars plus labor so what the service instruction says is you take the template that we have here and we're going to lay it on the forward edge and the trailing edge of every aileron and we're going to mark them every one inch along there and at every inch we're going to check to make sure that the aileron doesn't contact the template and if you do that then you pass a recurring is gone if you don't then you're going to have to either recur cut your ailerons or buy a new aileron but that's 6101 and that saves you from having to do service kit 150 to your airplane so that's all the hubbub and you know the amazing thing about service kit 0601 is that it's been out since 2006 and we still have airplanes that come through the shop with the recurring AD being applied to their airplane nobody has ever decided to remove it so we try to do that on every aircraft that comes through Yankee Aviation so get yourself a template tell your mechanic about service instruction 0601 and apply it to your airplane and cancel the recurring AD 792204 so ladies and gentlemen we hope you found all this useful and informative Thanks for watching, and have a great day flying your Grumman. And in addition, there's a little treat. About 3 o'clock in the morning when I'm doing web work and other stuff, here's my cat coming down, playing with a mouse and meowing and just having a good time with me in the wee hours of the night. So I thought I'd throw this into you as a little treat. Y'all, please enjoy.